Hi. Well, I was born in Washington, D.C. <laughs> Um, well, I guess I could talk. I could talk for a few minutes about um, the uh, some of the work we're doing in the Drawdown Georgia Business Compact. Um, by way of quick review, for those of you who may not be familiar, this comes comes out of a research multi-university research in initiative called Drawdown Georgia, um, where uh, uh, Marilyn Brown was the overall PI, and then many of us contributed to the research. And then, um, actually, we had a speaker earlier today. Was that today, or am I conflating days on the Drawdown Georgia research? That was today, right? Okay, so that, maybe I don't need to provide a ton of background. It's 20, highest imp 20 high impact solutions for the state of Georgia to mitigate carbon in the state. Um, it was inspired by Project Drawdown, um, which was uh, looking at the top 100 glo global solutions to address climate change. Um, and so the idea was to, how do we, how do we make this local? Um, and uh, for those of you who are here, John Lanier uh, spoke a bit about this uh, on the, uh, the first panel from the Ray C. Anderson Foundation as they, they seeded uh, the funding for, for much of that work and they've been responsible for the Drawdown Georgia movement, as it were. Um, so after the research was complete, um, one of the things, uh, since we're in the, uh, I guess I never introduced myself, did I? I'm Michael Oxman <laughs> with the Ray C. Anderson Center for Sustainable Business at Scheller College of Business. Uh, and. Um, uh, since we're in the business school, uh, one of the things that we thought um, uh, might be uh, helpful to take the Drawdown Georgia research and figure out how do we take those solutions and scale them within the state. And uh, so we worked uh, with our advisory board to um, uh, get some ideas as to you know what that might look like. And uh, as a consequence of those consultations, as well as sort of conferring with the Drawdown Georgia research team, we, the idea of creating a consortium of companies that were committed to getting Georgia to net zero emissions um, was born. And so we started off with a, a few companies that were, you know, seemed to be interested and have been close partners of the center over the years. And now we're up to 64 companies and, and still growing um, as, as, uh, as companies find out about this and as we actively look to recruit companies to become part of the compact. What's the compact do? Well, there's really four main activity areas uh, that we've designed. One is facilitating collaboration, which I'll come back to. The second is catalyzing innovation. The third is creating a community of practice. And the fourth is, is measuring impact. So I think in the first, this all launched in October of 2021. And um, I think our, at, at that time, a lot of our effort was focused on the recruitment side and trying to get a diverse set of companies as part of the compact. We wanted to represent the diversity, diversity in the state from the perspective of industry sectors, uh, in terms of uh, company size. Um, we want to have minority-owned businesses. We really wanted to have a cross-section of, of companies that represent the state. And I think that the 64 companies we currently have uh, represents a good cross-section of that, and we still have some opportunity to uh, further diversify. Um, and I, in terms of size, I mean, we have this, the biggest brands you can think of here in this in Georgia, down to uh, startups, and then you know, kind of everything in between. In terms of the activities, um, and the the first activity area I mentioned was facilitating collaboration. Um, there's a number of initiatives that we we facilitated consensus around with the companies that were part of the compact in terms of what they were interested in focusing on, and what we, the, the parameters for this were. Uh, really focused on asking the companies, what would you like to see happen in the collaborative space? What are some of the things that you can't do on your own, but might be helpful to you in terms of achieving your own decarbonization aspirations and goals? So um, what came out of that were a few different initiatives, and I'll just mention a couple in the interest of time, and you're going to tell me when my time's up, right? Or I can just keep going, right? Um, in any case, uh, so one of the initiatives that uh, we've been looking at is collective uh, engagement on renewable energy procurement in the state. And so we have a number of uh, companies that have renewable energy needs and uh, would prefer, if possible, to, to address those needs here in Georgia as opposed to doing power purchase agreements across, you know, in, in wind projects in Texas and so on and so forth. Not that there's anything wrong with those, but it'd be great if we could achieve, we could have those, that, um, that demand met here uh, in Georgia. So uh, what we did was this, 
um, uh, a, uh, took a subset of the companies within the compact, about 15 of them, to identify how much demand are we talking about. And through that assessment, um, the aggregated demand, and this is just a, you know, a rough approximation, was between 200 and 400 megawatts, which is a pretty sizable amount of demand. And that's only 15 companies. That doesn't cover the entire compact. Um, and the reason for quantifying that was to really get a sense of, is, is there an opportunity here to do some, something around collective procurement? Bring these companies together in such a way that um, uh, we can talk to Georgia Power, we can talk to some of the EMCs and, and some of the other utilities in the state, and or are there other transaction mechanisms like virtual power purchase agreements that we might be able to pursue um, as a way to, to meet this demand. So that project is ongoing. Uh, we're sort of, we've gone past the, the, the process of estimating that demand and we're now into, okay, what do we do next? And one of the things we're planning to do is issue uh, an RFI, a request for information, among some of the major developers, the solar developers in particular here in the state, to see what they may suggest and sort of follow the process from there. Another initiative that, that uh, is bo uh, brewing uh, within the compact is establishing a voluntary carbon market here in the state with a focus on forest carbon, possibly soil carbon. Um, and the idea is to, again, sort of aggregate um, landowners across the state with, ideally, with a focus on historically under-resourced landowners who can derive benefits from this, this carbon market that, uh, that would be established. And we may have, uh, on this particular one, we may have um, an opportunity for acceleration because uh, there's a large grant opportunity that we've partnered with the Georgia Forestry Foundation on. And if we get that grant, it's, it lines up really well with what we had designed as the objectives for this forest carbon thing. So that's really exciting. Other projects, I won't go into a bunch of details, but we're looking at renewable natural gas uh, opportunities uh, across the state. We have an initiative that's focused on local uh, food procurement. Someone was speaking about uh, that earlier today. Uh, so again, um, it's, uh, it's a disparate, on the one hand, we were really happy to have the diversity of companies that we have. On the other hand, that the disparate nature of their interests means we're hurting a lot of cats. And uh, that, that's, uh, uh, it's exciting and uh, challenging at the same time. So that's the Drawdown Georgia Business Compact. Thank you.